welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Hi! Hello. We have a friend! We hey. have a friend! This is Lindsay, otherwise known as PA, PA Gremlin. Gremlin. PA Gremlin, she's my roommate. Yeah. Yes. We were roommates. We are roommates. <laughs> we still are. <laughs> we will be for a while. <laughs> we, we're, we're, we're good. We're working on communication. We are. She tried to teach me how to turn on a light. It didn't go well. <laughs> but we got it on. It looks great in here. And then we talked late, like right after about what I could have done better to communicate better. <laughs> so we're doing great. So we're not actually a couple, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. All right, here she is. Here I go. So, well, okay, so here's the thing. Kay. Lindsay has only seen the first episode of Ace Attorney. She does not know what's going on in this case so far. Should we debrief her? We should debrief her. Okay. So, what's happened so far is that we have this girl, Mia Faye. You saw her in the first episode. Yes. She was murdered. At the very beginning of this case. By getting hit with the thinker. Once again. Wait, so is this the first victim? No. Is that the first victim? No. No, no, no. This, this was the girl she knew, right? This was Yeah. Okay. He... Wasn't she? Didn't she get him the job? Yes. Yes. Okay. She like, and then she's dead now. And then she got killed. Oh. It's really sad. This is her sister, Maya. This is Maya. Mia, Maya. That's not confusing at all. No, not at all. Mia, oh, Maya. She's a spirit medium in training. Perfect. She's called an acolyte. Ah. I this know is Detective I Dick Gumshoe. Name. He's a detective at the local precinct. And he's a gumshoe. Man. He's a gumshoe. Wow, uh -huh. he looks way older than thirty. Life has not been good to him. <laughs> <laughs> This is Marvin Grossberg. Ugh. He is a defense attorney that was supposed to help Maya because Maya is being charged with the murder of her sister no. by this woman who is a witness. But she has gone and faced trial. She has been cross-examined by Phoenix Wright, much to his chagrin, I think. And she has essentially shown that she's insane and was tapping Mia's phone and her alibi didn't fully check out because the bellboy mentioned that there was a man that checked into the hotel with her because she was in a hotel when she saw the murder. She was across the way. Okay. This is Edgeworth. He's the other prosecutor. He's gifted. And he's ruthless. He, and also, he wants to win. He also paid off the bellboy witness. Oh. To say, hey, don't mention anything about April May checking in with somebody else. But yeah. Bellboy did it anyway? Bellboy accidentally uh accidentally himself. divulged it and <laughs> yeah. then was like, Well, Mr. Edgeworth told me not to say and Edgeworth is like, You fool Oh man. He's very dramatic. Edgeworth is very dramatic. All these people, except for that Mia lady, look way older than their ages say yeah. they are. They it's not looking great. This is found this <laughs> oh was found gosh. next to the body and it's a bloody note that says Maya on it, which mm -hmm. is why they are trying to accuse Maya. But it's so obvious that it's her that's obviously not her. Exactly. It's a red herring. That's what I'm saying. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, you're pretty much cut up. If we missed anything, eh. At I'll least you know what she doesn't know. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, at least you know. If you've made it this far. Okay. Miss April May. That's also the um, the guard for this area. He loves to play the cello. <gasps> that's that's our own head cannon. Yeah. Oh. He loves to play the cello. I agree. He doesn't, yeah. he look like, like he'd shirt. rather be playing cello? He does look like, he looks like he'd rather be doing anything, but he, <laughs> yeah. honestly. All he's right. like, man, I just want to go home and play my cello. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be all of the, the non-speakable characters. I'll just be little, the little voices inside. You'll be the, the inside of their thoughts? Yeah. You'll Perfect. be everyone's inner monologue. Okay. You'll be everyone's inner monologue. Cool, cool, okay. cool, cool, cool. Okay. <clears throat> you again! Can't you take a hit and stay gone? Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now? Just, oh, also, just so you know, April May sucks. We that's it. Yeah, that's all you need to know, really. <laughs> you don't just have spiky hair, you also have a spiky heart. That does it. When this case is done, I'm shaving my head. Oh, no, Phoenix, <laughs> you need your grease wings. <laughs> you need your sonic hair. Yeah. It show, makes you fast. Show her the picture. You know this guy? I do, I do. Have a look at this. Look, I've said several times I'm not telling you. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you? Aha, a reaction. This is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? How? It is him. This is the man who stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder. Ooh. Not right? Nice try, Miss Cooperative. <laughs> do, do you have proof that was him? Hmm? Yeah, proof. Show me proof. I'm so 
close. Ooh. So we had a reaction, but we really didn't get much out of her. No. Okay, I expected more. Should we get the other picture? Yeah. Let's go get the other picture and see what she says. We can do that, right? Maybe she'll say something? I don't know if she'll say something. I don't know. Because at this point, all we're doing, all we're really doing is, oh, we have to talk we to her We still haven't to about the man. About the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? I'm not telling. Look, he's being accused of murder. I don't think you want to be protecting him. That's called aiding and abetting. Hmm. Would you have sold out the late Miss Faye to the cops? No. See? Darn! Darn it! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if I had something to get her to talk. I tried! Should we do it again? Now I was gonna say, now that? that I talked about that, maybe we can try again, but I don't know if it'll actually yield any other results. What? Who? When? Why? It is him! This is the man. No, that's not right! Nice charm is cooperative. Do you have proof of him? Yeah, yeah, yeah! I promise you have proof! All right. Yeah, I don't have proof. Well. Who else can we show this to? I don't know. Let's move. I was gonna say, can we talk to... I wanna go... He here. I wonder if Gumshoe is at the hotel, is at the office of We anything. never went back to the hotel. Not yet, at least. Not yet, no. September 7th, Faye and Co. Law Offices. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Forensics is taking the day off today. Always. Detective Gumshoe's nowhere in sight. He's not Forensics. He heads up the team? I don't know. The police really gave this place a working over. I doubt there are any valuable clues left. All right, well. Suppose it can't hurt to take a look around, though. I guess we'll try. Oh, the plant. <laughs> Mia's favorite potted plant. Good to know. I guess I'll have to water it now. Aww. With my tears. <laughs> <laughs> An old movie poster. Apparently, this was the first movie that made me. I, we read this. I was gonna say Aww. we've read these. They're all well. She re read every single one of them. Wait. Oh, missing oh. files. Files are missing. Nah, I'm imagining things. Maybe no, you're not. You're not. Thanks, uh. Mia's desk. A desk. Perfectly clean as always. It's a desk. The only thing it's missing is Mia. Yeah. Cause she's dead. She oh. died. Of a window. The sky is blue, and so am I. We've read that before. <laughs> so There's that hotel right across the way. Mm. He actually cared about this girl. He did. He Dude, loved she Mia. She raised oh. him up. You raised me up <laughs> so he could stand on mountains. Yeah. Gatewater Hotel. Let's okay. go back here. Oh, it's September seventh. Gatewater Hotel, room three hundred three. We never did get to look at that thing. Ah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we did. That's where the wiretap was. Right, but there's just like a screwdriver sticking out of there now. Yeah, I don't know, man. She's the doctor. Oh, welcome, sir. <laughs> Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. <laughs> do you like his voice? I really do. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, um, thanks. <laughs> Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. <laughs> Your efforts today can only help the Gatewater's rep, as they say. Rep. Huh? Rep? Reputation. Reputation. <laughs> Phoenix is an idiot sometimes. Really, I don't know how, how he's a lawyer. How did he get through law school? I don't we think, don't he, think did. he went. Oh. <laughs> he's so dumb. This is just suits. All over his entire game. yes, his entire first case, he was just being coached through by Mia, and whoa, Mia's dead now. So, so I don't know what we're gonna do. Oh, what is he gonna do? And what are we doing? <laughs> Defending her sister. Our training wheels died, and we have no choice but to keep riding the I'm bike. Just teetering on my bike. <laughs> it's like you're going downhill. The brakes are off, and you're just like, ah! <laughs> yes, our reputation will swell as the hotel where the murderer used a wiretap. <laughs> We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It will be great for business, sir. Oh my gosh. Whoa, whoa! Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. Yeah. I too will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murderer iced coffee. Oh please. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? You are. <laughs> so you are our honored guest. Please let me know if there is anything I can bring you. Okay. Bye bye. Can you leave? <sighs> About Miss May. Oh, huh? We gotta show him the picture. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're right! <laughs> Watch him squirm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, her, sir. Not to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her. 
She'd do it, I said. Do what? I'm starting to think the most suspicious person here is this guy. You nasty! He really is. He's terrible. The man with that! I'm gonna do the hotel first. Fine. Well, I'm about to be the last one. Could you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely, and on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. I propose that we add a subtitle. Watergate! I'm about to say <laughs> the Gatewater. <laughs> a subtitle? The Gatewater Hotel. Murder, Murder Manor. Manor. <laughs> I love that. Well, what do you think? Um, sounds great. Whatever floats your tea set. <laughs> I wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Uh, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you'll pardon the expression. I will not. <laughs> I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are of the same ill. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he so creepy? This man is like we both carry the scent of danger. <laughs> According to the profiles, he looks he looks like he's 45. He's 26. <laughs> he's 26. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh! I thought he was 48. Nope. <laughs> we carry the scent of danger. <laughs> there we are in total agreement, Mr. Psychopath. <laughs> If you had a photo of that man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. Uh, a photo. Hmm. If only we had that. If only we had a photograph. If I have to go back and do it. Of Senor Purple. Honestly. <laughs> Take a look at this photo. That's him, Detective. <gasps> um, I'm the lawyer. Oh. oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. No, you no, I don't. <laughs> Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. Okay. How about I write an affidavit swearing that that's him? Okay. An affidavit? This guy is way too excited about this. Absolutely. Mm. Have Absolutely. Him write that down. Well, sure. Why not? Yes, I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. Sir, just hurry up and write it. Yeah! We can present that in court! Mm -hmm. Not I even love... Miss May can play dumb to this. I love presenting in court! It's the bestest. Yup. I think we can look at. Um, that's a good drive. But why? I saw that again today. I can see the offices. Oh, the yeah, it's time to install a telescope in that window, of course. To look at the murder window? Just $5 will earn you three minutes of a view to, to a kill. Oh, please. Not a killer view? Just kidding, sir. Oh. <laughs> By that look in his eyes, I'd say it was more than serious. Yeah, he's serious. Screwdriver. Huh? There's still a screwdriver stuck in that drawer. Is it something? Oh, please leave them. That's why I As said As it is, stopped. sir. That's the drawer of terror hiding place of the murderer's wiretap. It's set to become one of the most popular attractions here. You are weird. This guy's serious. I don't believe it. Why can't we take the screwdriver? It makes me upset. Should that be still life? Whatever. One of those is hanging on the wall. Okay. Oh, the t the bed. A simple bed. It's been recently made. Nothing eye-catching here. All right, then. Okay. Plant? Plants. A vase, as expected. A ball. I'm not good with flower <laughs> names, except maybe <laughs> tulips and sunflowers. <laughs> I don't okay. see any sunflowers. Sir. Nope. Those well, he said that's what he's the... familiar with. Yeah, idiot. Bye. Adios. Mm. Uh, anything new we can talk about, lady? Staff. Can we present her the yeah. yeah. Could you have a look at this? What's yeah. that? Sorry. The bellboy's <laughs> affidavit. It tells us everything he saw, such as the man you checked in with, who was most definitely this guy. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm getting somewhere. Push your heart. Push your heart. Push your heart. Push your heart. What do you think? Sure. Yeah! I want to see the game. This is it. All or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. Mm -hmm. I can promise you don't actually want to see her angry. Yeah. Is this not angry? Mm, no use playing worse. dumb. <laughs> if indeed that's an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this info to the press. <gasps> what? Even though he should have been witness to murder, your little friend was missing. I'm sure the press would have a field day with his reputation. Oh! Fine! I'll talk! You, you win, lawyer. Ha! Yes, man, that felt good. Yes. It's great to be alive. <laughs> Why are you pumping your fists in the air? 
<clears throat> now, tell me about the man you were with. That man? He's my boss. Red White, the president of the information gathering conglomerate Blue Corp. Mm -hmm. Red, white, blue. Red, white, blue. <laughs> He's American. Red, white? Information gathering? Well, I suppose you could call it a detective agency. Like a PI? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. So this is the man that was with you the night of the murder? Sure seems to be. I'm... I'm scared to talk. Are you? I don't want to end up like <gasps> her. What? Their mom! Their mom? What did their mom do? It's okay. I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Mm. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? Mr. Red White, at last! What?! Finally, a lead on this guy! If April May couldn't have done it, that leaves him! Yes. Time to take action! Bellboy's affidavit is no, discarded. Uh, yeah, right? Like... Yeah. Alright, well, I hope that is useful. I hope we shouldn't have saved that. Uh. I can't think that we would have. So, is she gonna tell us more? Is there more places to go now? She didn't tell us. Blue Ooh, Blue Corp! Okay. Can we go? Ooh. Yeah, let's do it. Let's try. Yeah. The painting! Yeah. Oh, the painting is there! It's the painting. That so that's painting. the painting from the law office. Oh. Grossberg law offices, right? Yeah, Grossberg's law office. Oh. oh I don't watch that at all. No, this is a little weird. September 7th, Blue Corp Inc. CEO's office. Well, he doesn't seem to be in right now. Mm. Why? What's with the surreal decor? Because he's dead! <laughs> you wanna do it? Yeah! I think he's gonna be the purple haired guy. Welcome! <laughs> Please furnish me with the title of your personage. Yes! <laughs> what the? Your name! What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> I was just inquirably asking the title that you go by. He is sparkly. Uh, right? Phoenix Wright? Inquirably? Mr. Wright, is it right? I see. <laughs> Splendiferous. Oh, I don't love him. <laughs> Perhaps I am inti intimidated you with my giant desk vocabulary. He's trying for sure. What is this guy's problem? He's big and smart. I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know. Corporate expansion official. Ah. Oh. My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. Sure. So I'm afraid I'm not used to conversing with the wordily challenged. Boy. What a fruitcake! <laughs> a fruitcake. I love that. Okay, so first off, I think it's important that we tell you when you see, you saw in the first case how we see the person that murders. Yeah. Like you see who does it. Yeah. He's the killer! Okay. So as viewers, we know this. We yeah, know as this. viewers, we know this. Everybody else, we're Nobody like, in the game knows this yet. Right, we gotta get him there. We have suspicions, obviously. Yeah. And also, Mia and Maya's mom, uh, were... She was a psychic on a case. Not a psychic, a spirit medium, whatever. Right. I don't know the proper terminology. Spencer. And, that's all I could think of. <laughs> um... And they brought her on only because they were desperate, and they didn't tell in the press or anything like that. But this guy ruined her reputation somehow that I can't remember at this moment. But anyway, they, Mia and Maya don't know it's this guy specifically. Mm -hmm. They knew that his name was Mr. White. Oh. But obviously now we know it's Mr. Red White. Maya's 17 and scared because she's being held for murder. Ma Mia's dead. <laughs> their dad is somewhere. I think he was the one that's still alive. Mm -hmm. One yeah. of their parents is still alive. So their mom... Is not dead, did you say? Or she is dead? I don't know. One of them... Mom's either alive and dad's dead, or dad's alive and mom's dead. One I think mom is dead. dead. Okay, I thought so too. I'm pretty sure mom's dead, because that's why April was just like, I don't want to end up like her! Right. So, I yeah. I thought she was saying, like, like, me, like Mia. She didn't want to end up like Mia. That too. That's also valid. That like, is also potential. If she knows he killed her, exactly. she doesn't want to end up like her. That's, that's, I, that's how I took it. Yeah, that's probably more correct. I'll have to. I'll go back and find the part where they talk about the mom and then. But it could last be. Episode. It could be that be what they want us to think, and then you're right. Like it's more. It's like a thing that we, double on Tom yeah. kind of thing. My father died when I was very young, and I don't know where my mother is. What? Don't know. So she could still be alive. So she definitely could be. What a fruitcake. Hmm, let me guess. 
You're an attorney, fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yipes, this guy's arrogance meter is off the scale. <laughs> Yipers! <coughs> Jeepers! Hypers! <laughs> Jeepers creepers! Miss May, okay. Ooh. I'm just looking at, like, our options. I'm trying to see what's in here. Ooh, his picture, his picture. I can show him his picture. We can be like, do you know this man? He can be like, it's me. <laughs> in all my splendiferous glory. Wow. <laughs> okay. He's got, di uh, like, a diamond lapel. I like, know, it's so weird. Let's it's look at his room. that this is blue corp and there's no blue. I'm guessing this is supposed to be a desk. You're right, there is no there's blue. There's no blue. There's none. I would know. My, my, this is yeah, quite the thing. you can see. I know. Thing. It's on his jacket. It's on oh. his jacket. Oh! It is... It is... <laughs> it is... <laughs> it is modeled on my body, you see? <laughs> well, does it sleek round it or not? Inspire you. <laughs> if a man leaned in and told me that, <laughs> I would lose my mind. That's I why leave. I did it. I, I want to make him as gross as possible. He's a he's weirdo. He's a murderer. This is the top floor of a 20 story building. The view is quite presidential. <laughs> Mr. President, he is Mr. President. <laughs> An impressive lineup of trophies. Judges Special Runner Up, <laughs> Best Participation, <laughs> Judges Cooperation Award, Special <laughs> Good Try Prize. That's the one who never won. won. <laughs> the words judges and special kind of stand out. <laughs> special. The statue of a man holding up the world. <laughs> the Blue Corp sign certainly stands out enough. And it's red. Even though it's red! What's wrong with this man? The model for the man is, of course, Mr. White. Sure. Truly a work of art, but probably too butatious for you to appreciate, correct? I think it's a little too butatious for just about anyone to appreciate. <laughs> Alright, let's ask about that painting back painting. there! Huh? <laughs> just question mark. Huh? <laughs> Haven't I seen this somewhere? Is this a replica? Rid <laughs> Ridiculosity! I have no interest in anything but original! Have you guys seen Wicked? No. They talk like this. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah. say splendiferous. Yeah. Splendiferous. <laughs> yes. This I was like, where have I heard that before? These are Aussians. <laughs> that right there is a bona fide original worth five million for sure. Sure. Mm. Mm. That's all mm. I gotta say. Mm. 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 I can only hear out of like this left ear, so if I'm too loud, let me know. No, I gotcha. You're not, honestly. Okay. Okay. Let's 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 ease into something he cares about. All right. What kind of company is Blue Corp anyway? Ah, oh, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. Okay. We are company of the future. You might say we are the future. So you do nothing. <laughs> yeah. Sell information. In just 10 years, I've built this business up into the grand office you see now. This one office? Singular office. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and in case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. And that's why I decorated my office with nothing but blue, so <laughs> if, if nobody could make that connection, so they'd have to talk to me to get that. Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> <laughs> I, Red White of Blue Corp, as founder and CEO, <laughs> named it so. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course, Clearly. as evidenced by my office. <laughs> Fantabulistic, is it not? <laughs> no! This is the most wild character so far, and like, that honestly, is saying something. It really, he's, he's, this boy's wild and he's got blue all over him, which is funny to me. His eyes are blue. Yeah. Who's he punching with those rings, though? <laughs> Anyone who gets in his way. Ever just, <laughs> anybody he needs information from, he would. I am Mr. White of Blue Corp. I'm here to get the information to sell. Boom! <laughs> and your blue sweaters! <laughs> I love blue! Don't blue you sweaters! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? <laughs> Who can say? I sell. <laughs> 
who can say? <laughs> oh, indeed. <laughs> who could say? Uh, you. But anyway, he sorry. could. I seldom pay attention to mundane details such as time and place, but I sell information. <laughs> my, my, my motto is, don't worry, be happy. Thanks, Marley. <laughs> Sorry. No, I just like, yeah, I just Bob Marley. <laughs> He's got him on both hands. He just has brass knuckles. He does. Wow. Still, Mr. White, the hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. I know I threw it out earlier, but, uh, uh well. <laughs> <laughs> I love the exasperation noises. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. When they bring voice actors in after the fact to do all the, yeah, yeah, like, like, exactly. I yeah. love those behind the scenes. Climb in distress. <laughs> Have you ever seen the one about Tom Hanks? Yes, that's like, exactly what I'm about Woody. It's so funny. Yeah, and he's like, and they just make you go, ah, ah, you're like falling off a chair. You just have to just speak over it. It's so funny. Ah, <laughs> <Yeah. Watch laughs> <him. laughs> no matter. The bellboy can say what he pleases. I still will talk to you. All right. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Oh, we I can. Edge. Although I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. Why? You, that's I'm a lawyer. <laughs> really? Hmm. He raises a good question, actually. Why is this difficult? We can subpoena people. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? Because they didn't know who he was, right? He should have seen the same thing as April May. Oh, maybe he paid them off. Just kidding. <laughs> <Good job. laughs> I got it. We're good, we're good. Oh! <laughs> the police, the courts. To me, they are mere toys, playthings for my amusement. Yeah, That's they the know worst. nothing. Oh my god. They're not a source of information for you. Miss me is an that, That's oh, me. My bad. <laughs> no, I. we do it literally every episode. Yeah. <laughs> Miss May is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Mm. Correct. She was my secretary. It's your my horse. My favorite my horse. <laughs> she was your horse? Sir. She really pulled ahead in the last race. I was <laughs> proud of her. What a shock it was to hear what she has done. Oh, you're she just... has done what she has done. What has she done? Throwing her under the murder. murder. Tapping the phone? Murder I guess people? tapping the phone. Oh. What she has done? You mean the wiretap? Okay. I, for, I mixed up who May was with the other. With the, uh, oh, gotcha. Indeed, she's paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. Indeed, yo. She does gather information for us as part of her duties. It's the most ambiguous information-based job. Honestly. But I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. It is ineffable that she would do this. I love your voice for him. It's perfect. It is. <laughs> it sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. That painting. Yeah. Ask me about the painting. Uh. <laughs> you took on the character. Ask me about the I'm painting. I'm a method actor. <laughs> yes, ma'am. There's something that's been bothering me. Yes. What might that be? That big painting on the wall over there. <gasps> it's gorgeous. When did you get it? Oh, that's a good question. I like that question. Say, when did you get that painting? <laughs> hmm. No idea. I forgot. I've seen that painting before. Yesterday, in fact. Why do I find that painting here today? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Wrong, was it? <gasps> First of all. All right. Don't make me. Don't make you what, Katie? This. <laughs> Mr. Wrong. Check you. Okay. You get him. And then he'll kill me with his brass knuckles. Brass knuckles? Yeah, both of them. Right. It appears you don't. Do <laughs> It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Who are you? <laughs> if I could do the vapor trick, I would have done that. <laughs> um, a lawyer? <laughs> no, my feeble friend. A mere lawyer. Shut the frick up! You suck! <laughs> I thought you were full sending that for a second. I would never! I know! <laughs> Worth nothing. Zilch. Zippo. Nada. Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney, Grody Burger. <laughs> Grody Burger? What? Grossberg. Oh. <laughs> oh! Oh! I think you're getting punched 
brass knuckles. Uh, oh, he he punched he, me. He did get punched. Oh my god. This is so intense. Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, eh? Charge me with assault? Sir, do you have cameras in here? Sir, you have a butt chin, and I'm gonna tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Charge away, I welcome it. For it is you who will be found guilty. What is your deal? Proof. 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 If guilty you be. If innocent you be. Show me in court, will ye? <laughs> yes. What? Heed my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say. But I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? Yeah, most likely. It's a kingpin out here. Yeah. Yeah. I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your compensation. You know what I'm kind of hoping for? Mm -hmm. Is that he is actually colorblind, so he thinks everything He's, is everything blue. Everything is blue. That'd be funny. Oh. I'm just realizing. That. No, I think that he would be sees funny. everything as blue because his eyes are so blue. Yeah, he sees he sees the world through blue tinted glasses. Yeah, <laughs> calls his eyeballs <laughs> blue tinted balls. You came here from <laughs> what did you say? Blue tinted eyeballs. But she said blue tinted balls. <laughs> gotta get, gotta gotta have it, gotta have them. <laughs> gotta have, gotta have those contacts. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. You can edit that out if you want. No. Okay. <laughs> we'll keep it. Yay! <laughs> Go ahead. But anyway, I'm, composing. You gotta, I'm composing. You gotta it. get there. I got lost in his crystal blue eyes for a second. <laughs> and his crystal on his. Lost inside his oceanic eyes. Mm. Oceanic eyes. I don't. Are on your side. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> Mine. Mine. I hope you guys are having fun. I am. I, I am too. We're having a great day. We went ice skating and now it's great. We did. We went ice skating today. It was fantastic. We went ice skating and then we went to get burgers. <laughs> yeah. We did. Say it. Say it. I love a good burger. Yes. <laughs> now it's more. You know what it wasn't? A grody burger. Oh, it's not. You came here from grody burgers, I presume. Perfect segue. Mr. Grossbergs. Yes. Then you must ask him, why is it that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. I pummeled it away from him. <laughs> Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. By illegal mm -hmm. means. Mm -hmm. It's worth it. <laughs> Go now. Skedaddle. There's nothing more to discuss. You suck. You're the worst. I hate him. He's the worst. Whatever that riff is that John Ralph He's the worst. That's it. The worst. Wham. What's the one that she does? Um. The, the, I can't remember is what the word the is. Yeah. Who does it? I don't know. Mona Lisa, says, Mona Lisa does it. Hilarious, hilarious. She does like his oh low God. thing. <laughs> She's so weird. She's so weird. I love her. Okay. Um, should, we go, should we go to Grossberg offices and see if he shows up? Yeah. 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 Should because we do that right he's now? just been accused of. Uh, hey, Grossberg! Well, we will find out what Grossberg has to say next time. Aww. <laughs> I get to talk as Grossberg again. You Yay. do. Guys, I had a great episode. I didn't really have to do it. You didn't talk at all. I, I had a conversation with I myself. I was April May. You had April May. May. You did she have April May. Us off. I did. spoke. Look, I was focused on the fact that I had a conversation with myself. For a long time. For a long time. You, you had a really long conversation. And then I got to take a break and it was nice. It was. <laughs> I got to jump in. I got you to did. It was, it was awesome. Fun. You just have to come back and You'll finish You'll have to the come rest. back for this case. Okay. Yeah, I gotta finish. I must finish this case. You must. you must. I feel like that's like the, like those detectives that got pulled in from like retirement. They're like, and they're like, oh, only this case. But then they keep getting pulled in for the next five years. Yeah. That's what yeah. Yeah. happens on those shows. I like that. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like, comment, or even subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell to be notified every time we're uploading something new. Usually every day. Sometimes I forget. But we'll <laughs> see you next time. Bye! Bye.